Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajni Khan and today's video is going to discuss what is the basic difference between at the red request mapping and at the red, uh, sorry, at, at the red get mapping and all the other variants of this uh, get mapping type annotation, right? So at the red post mapping, at the red port mapping and at the red delete mapping. So we'll discuss those stuffs. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications, right? So let's begin. So at the request mapping, at the get mapping, what actually does this annotations, right? So whenever you are hitting a HTTP request, right? So that request will be handled by some methods, right? At the back end, uh, whatever that server side program you have written. So at the, at the back end, some handler method will handle your request, right? Suppose you are, you, you are trying to fetch some student details or employee details, right? So whenever you are hitting a get request, then that request will come to web server. Then from there, it will come to your server side program. And there, what method it will handle your request, right? That is called handler method, right? So these annotations are plays a major role, right? What those annotations will do? These annotations will map your web request, sorry, your web requests into that request handling methods, right? So if you see here, annotation for mapping web requests onto methods in request, uh, request handling means what method will handle this request, right? So this one and coming into get mapping, this is the annotation for mapping HTTP get request onto specific handler method. So if you want to map a get request to a specific method, then you can use get mapping. So at the rate request mapping is a generalized one, right? Uh, while writing this annotations, you can specify there for what method you are writing that one. I mean, I will show uh, in that coding and uh, uh, maybe it's a gate or put or delete or post whatever in request maybe you can specify. But here at that get mapping, it will specific to get request only, right? And request mapping, okay, uh, let me uh, move to. So uh, this is the basic thing. So let me move to uh, documentation so that you'll get more clear picture. So let's move to request mapping first, right? So this is the request mapping uh, was there from version 2.5, right? So if you'll see target type, type and method. So you can put this method, sorry, you can put this annotation on top of a class or on top of a method level right so both method level and class level you can put these annotations right so you can see annotations for mapping web request onto methods in request handling classes with flexible method signature this is the thing you can refer this one and let me show you what are the elements we can pass there consumes headers method name params path uh, produces value this all things are there you can uh, pass uh, elements right so let me show you uh, in that coding so I have already that code is there so let me comment this one you can see here request mapping value means it's a uh, that URL whatever the URL you want to uh, that HTTP request URL will handle that request so this if the request is coming with this URL then this method get user ID will handle that request. So here that method, what for what method it will execute the I, I said, right? Request mapping is a generalized version. So you can see here method equal to request method dot get. So it's indicating with this URL, 
if the method is get method type is get then it will handle this one and produces uh, it's saying that it will produce the text value whatever the produces if you want uh, some json you can uh, provide here json so these are the elements you can pass there right these are the elements you can pass there so you can put the request mapping either at the method level or at that class level so this is the request mapping now coming into get mapping so get mapping you can see uh, the get mapping this annotations whatever get mapping post mapping put mapping delete mapping pass mapping this annotations got introduced in the version 4.3 spring version 4.4.3 right so prior to this 4.3 these annotations were not available in that spring framework right so earlier uh, earlier versions we were using this request mapping where is that one sorry this request mapping annotations right so but later point on spring 4.3 onwards it's provided these annotations post mapping put mapping at the red get mapping those annotations so it will provide a flexibility to use this annotations right so uh, there is no verbose if you see here you need to provide method at that request uh, method equal to request method dot get for the request mapping right but in 4.3 onwards directly if you if it's a get request we can put at the red get mapping and it's a class sorry it's a method level so this annotations this annotation you can put at method level you can see here target value equal to method so we can put this one at method level you cannot put that one at class level so let's So you can see here, I have put into that class level. It's showing that error, right? So you cannot put this annotation at class level. So this is the basic thing. And one more thing, uh, this request mapping you can put at the class level to provide a common URL. I mean, it's a root URL. Suppose you want to provide a root URL. So you can provide that root URL from here and all that handler method will append from here suppose this root url user then all the uh, whatever the handling methods are there then it will append that url slash user slash version one so if that complete url you will see slash user where is that one slash user then these URLs right so this is the basic difference in request mapping and all uh, other these types of uh, annotation right at that get mapping at that post mapping at that delete mapping right so for more reference you can you can go through this documentation spring documentation and you can uh, find all those uh, elements whatever the elements we can pass uh, to that annotation and you can find all the difference right so hope uh, at least you got some idea if this video is helpful to you please do subscribe my channel like this video and share this video right and yes please do comment in that comment section about the feedback of the video so how this video and uh, what lagging in this video or uh, any upcoming new technologies you want to see so if you put in the comment sections that will be a great help to me yes so thank you